This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It is Liverpool against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, we've got some of the world's top players out there tonight, so this has to be a great game, doesn't it? I just hope we see both sides play to their full potential. I can't wait for this. Take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander Arnold in the fullback positions. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Lionel Messi starts with Neymar out wide. And lining up through the middle in attack today is Kylian Mbappe. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be crowned club kings of Europe. Good use of advantage in favour of PSG. And he has the measure of his man. Able to get a body in the way. Well, whatever way you slice it, Stuart, Mo Salah is a man you just can't take your eyes off. Yeah, he's a real handful, particularly when Oh, he's... wait a minute, Stuart. Opportunity. Oh, a save of the highest order. Well, he got his angles absolutely right. What a good save that is. Shots up. And an astute piece of defending. Very difficult challenge to perform, but he succeeded. Easy save. Fabinho. Alexander Arnold. Shot attempted. Oh, that's a fine save. Messi. Well, they have the ball once more. And a goal kick is the outcome. Marquinhos. And the Liverpool throw in forthcoming. Andrew Robertson. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there. Virgil van Dijk. Here's Milner. 
And the pass could do damage. Big opportunity. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Short corner taken. Well, Salah, but he loves it. Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. Lionel Messi. Hakimi. Oh, what a perfect ball now. How about this? And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. Played in there. Oh, good chance, but he couldn't take advantage of it. Promising looking ball. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Now the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? of room in the wide area and the last touch off the defender so a corner coming up they favoured a short one here I'm trying to build a head of steam another corner it'll be fired in by Neymar not quite spot on with that one This might be ideal for the counter. Will they profit from this situation? And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Well, a second goal for them here. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Neymar. Here's Mbappe. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this. Into the second half then in this battle for Champions League glory. Alexander Arnold. Salah. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Slipshod passing. Hakimi. Can't get past Sergio Ramos. Well, they get the ball once more. Might really be able to trouble them here. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Neymar. 
This looks more than decent. Mbappe. Wijnaldum! No goal, it won't count, the flag was raised. Well, he did finish it well, but I think everybody knew he was offside there. Substitution it is for PSG. Elliot. Diogo Jota. And flag raised. Offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. 30 minutes to go then. Diogo Jota. Mina Mino. Getting in there to intercept. Herrera. Neymar, bodies forward and the break looks on. Oh, he's given it. The referee says penalty and an opportunity for them to pull one back here. And to add insult to injury, it's a booking, Stuart. Well, I agree with the penalty. I'm not quite so sure about the yellow card, though. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. This to get back into it. Oh, he's guessed correctly and saved it! And short it is. Really needed to be spot on with the challenge inside the box. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. He's in behind. Alas, he's made his move too early. Offside. Substitution it is for PSG. Jorginho Wijnaldum. PSG looking dangerous. Ronaldo! And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Only well, fancy a short one. He made it look simple, really. Growing pressure here, and another corner. And played short. Cross could be useful, but goalkeeper's ball, disappointingly for them. Could reduce the deficit, and he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Now, how about the short corner? Well, he has the measure of his man. Oh, a vital interception. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Can they take advantage of the situation? Oh, in with a chance. And there it is. That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then from there, the keeper has little chance. Two on one, left completely exposed, and it made for a simple finish in the end. This is 
looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. We're inside the final five minutes. My goodness, this has not been close at all. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Lionel Messi. Well, possession seeded. Space on the flank. Mane trying a different avenue. Pulls it back. He might yet finish. Oh, first rate block by Ramos. And a goal kick given. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Now with Messi. Di Maria. Tremendous. And having already received a yellow card, he's walking a very fine line. Well, no booking comes from it, but he's going to have to tread carefully here. Well, I think that's great refereeing. He doesn't want to be throwing cards about willy-nilly. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. How about this? England's most successful European club have done it again. Liverpool, the winners of the Champions League. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The kings of European club football, Liverpool. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.